Hello, my name is Jakob Bielabel. I'm the managing director of Thema 1 and the chair of the PCF World Forum. The PCF World Forum is a neutral platform to share practical experiences and knowledge towards climate conscious consumption and production. The international platform provides orientation in current standardization processes and creates opportunities for discussing international corporate best practices and emerging tools to support low carbon and climate conscious consumption models. The PCF World Forum was created out of the ambition to talk with each other and not just about each other. Given the ever increasing number of initiatives around the world and often little real understanding of respective approaches and activities. At the sixth PCF World Summit, which took place some weeks ago in Berlin, as you can see, we focused on better understanding these developments towards more holistic product sustainability assessment and reporting. Individual sessions did explore methodological issues as well as approaches used and foreseen for communication. Participants had the opportunity to engage in discussions around the future of managing and communicating on the environmental performance of products and reflect implications and opportunities for their own organizational strategy. On the two days of the summit in Berlin, we shed some light on major developments in carbon and environmental footprinting, as well on the European level with experts like Pavel Misiga from the European Commission, and got first reflections on the French national experiment on environmental footprinting from Sylvain Chevasu. Numerous business case studies from Danone, Casino, Froster and others kick-started lively discussions amongst the participants. Updates on carbon footprint methodologies and international initiatives from the UK, France, Sweden, Nigeria, Korea, Japan, the US, Germany and Italy deepened understanding of the status quo in carbon and environmental footprinting. You can watch and download all videos of all the presentations on the PCF World Forum's website or order a DVD. Due to the sheer amount of different relevant topics to be discussed, the Forum's board decided to split the group into three parallel working groups. These smaller working groups guaranteed for even deeper insight into the most pressing issues with short input presentations and enough time for exchange and discussions. They were facilitated by experts from the field who, after the breakout sessions, did a wrap-up for the rest of the summit's participants. The first group was on methodologies for the quantification of environmental impact. It was facilitated by Rasmus Priest from the PCF World Forum. Today I had the honor to chair a session on environmental footprinting methodologies. And uh, together with uh, three speakers, uh, we had one remote presentation by Edouard Faudrin from ADEM, who spoke about the French environmental footprinting methodology, and two other speakers uh, with us in the room, uh, Rana Pant from the European Commission Joint Research Center, who was speaking about the uh, environmental footprinting methodology that is currently developed in the framework of uh, EU policy decisions and uh, a presentation by Georg Schöner from the Sustainability Consortium who is also uh, setting up systems uh, around environmental footprinting uh, methodologies for uh, a whole range of applications. And all these three speakers uh, provided insights into their systems that they are currently developing. Uh, some a lot of technical issues that uh, they had to address in their programs or are currently addressing. And uh, what I found interesting, and this is the, the main insight that uh, the this, this session uh, provided to us, was the, the, the new quality that is entering in this <coughs> environmental footprinting uh, work. Their uh, environmental footprinting as, as such is not new to, um, to looking at products. You, we have uh, had life cycle assessment as a methodology uh, developed over the past 20 or so years. Um, but what I found interesting in these systems that were, we had gained some insight in today is that uh, these are put in place on a much larger scale than we have seen before. That is, it's not just about providing a methodology, but also underlying infrastructure, databases, technical tools, templates, um, software tools that actually um, 
help those that implement these methodologies uh, to do it on a much larger scale and also on a simplified, uh, in a simplified manner. So what we're seeing is a new quality of making environmental footprinting systems work for um, users, be it companies, and then later also for communication. There's still a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, th just seeing this, th the, the amount of work that is put into it and the, the scale really is, um, uh, is astonishing and I think this will be interesting to watch for the, year, for the next years to come to see how, how these actually uh, manifest themselves in, in, in the systems that uh, are implemented, be it policy or uh, be it private initiatives around the world that make, make use of these new environmental footprinting methodologies. The other group was on communication approaches for quantified environmental impacts and was facilitated by Olivier Jean from the Biointelligence Service from France. We had a dedicated track this afternoon with a focus on environmental uh, <coughs> communication where we came back to several case studies that currently take place in France, for example, in the context of the pilot phase. We had a detailed presentation from Marc Voinesson of Casino presenting the new environmental index they have designed and which allow consumers to understand how much of their daily environmental budget they're about to spend when they go shopping. Next we have Thomas Albisser from a startup company named Hopcube who presented the first learnings they got watching at the consumer behavior on merchandising websites on which they've put some environmental information. And finally, we had a very lively presentation from Stephen Gentis, who made us aware of what is at stake in terms of environmental impact every time we will see a commercial advertisement on TV, which can mean dozens of people rushed out at the other side of the globe for a video that will be taken from a helicopter just to capture the perfect moment that we will see on TV afterwards and which is not without consequences in terms of carbon footprint. And Stephen is currently designing uh, a web tool that will allow uh, these people to measure and uh, improve the environmental footprint of their activities. And finally, we had a video presenting the Good Guy initiative uh, in the US and that was the conclusion of a very interesting afternoon. The third group was on a very interesting topic. It was on acquiring and developing talent for building low carbon products and value chains. It was facilitated by Cynthia Cumis from the World Resource Institute, Tom Savage and Guido Axman from Thema 1. After all these technical discussions about methodologies, results, milestones, and so forth. In the morning, people were very happy in our group to discuss the human factor, the role of the people in that game. And we heard very different individual perspective, needs, demands, wishes in the field of talents in the world of carbon footprinting, so that any summary couldn't reflect the diversity we discussed in this group. But after a while, after an open discussion, we, we, we covered some common ground. And it seems that we might, might better look in building capacity in all of us than trying to train and specialize only experts and look out for them. So don't leave the problem to the experts, but rather engage all of us and find ways to increase our capacities within us, within our leaders, within politics, within the society, within the business sector. And um, there was a very practical recommendation. Why don't we exploit a PCF forum or a forum like this more in better connecting all the participants? Because probably all the talent we need is in the room and has gathered over the last six summits. And uh, there would be a good job to do. And in connecting all these people, building a community, then who would be in a better position to solve the problem than us who created it? If you have any questions regarding future work of the PCF World Forum or the summits, or you want to engage with our mission to share practical experiences and knowledge towards climate conscious consumption, please do not hesitate to get in contact with Rasmus or me anytime. Looking forward to meeting you on the next summit. This was Jacob Bielebel. See you next time.